Welcome back guys to my next PvE build for the Scraps of Fate patch, this time on my Stamina Nightblade. What are the changes on Stamblade? I've used Ranking Below instead of Silver Bolt as spammable. As you may know, it gives now Major Berserk for 5 seconds after activating this ability, just 10% extra flat damage. Like this we can still even slot Conceal Weapon, the Magical Morph of Surprise Attack, for another 10% extra damage on top. We gain this buff by leaving Mage Expedition with our Dot Twisting Path which reapplies the major expedition buff by itself, means we can basically keep up a 100% uptime in static boss fight or like here no dummy, that is brutal. I've added Calf on the front bar and dropped Stampede, way more comfortable to play without two channel abilities, back bar instead of 2 H do weird with the backless prison daggers for another 6% extra flat damage. Still Reliquan on the body and Pillow on the front bar, as 5 sets, and then Zahn as monster set instead of Kana, deals similar damage, but Zahn can be used by everyone in your group, Kana is limited by one player. I managed to get 133k plus DPS, around 4k more than in the previous patch. Let's take a quick look at the build, and then I will talk about the rotation. Front bar, great sword for extra weapon and spell damage, imprecise with the poison damage enchant. Back by, like I said, Black Rose Prison Daggers, both in Infused, 1 Flame Damage and 1 Berserker Glyph. Then on the body, Reliquin for more single tie damage, and Zahn as Monster Set. Full Divines as Traits, 6 Medium Armor and 1 Light. May need to keep up all those magic abilities, otherwise, I had really sustain issues. In extra content, you could probably go with 7 medium. Then max stamina glyphs on the body, jewelry full bloodthirsty with the weapon and spell damage enchantments, but the magicka recovery one. Same stuff here. I had to put those magicka glyphs here, otherwise, I had no chance to keep up those magic abilities. The stamina ones, they will just give you 30 stamina region, which we don't really need on this build. Even with the green max stamina food. I had no stamina issues. Alternative to Reliquin, Coral Riptide works too. Did some tests with it, but it was way more annoying to play. You need a good resource management, even though the dummy was terrible, especially in Execute. Instead of Zahn, you can still go with Kiana, Storm Fist, or even for defensive playstyle, let's say you want to do a triple achievement in a dungeon or raid with the Ice Hunt monster set. Really underestimated, deals a good amount of AoE damage and gives a nice damage shield. And the first crit bonus is also helpful on the Stumblade. Instead of Pillar of Noon, you could go with Wall of Deaths or Aegis Corner or Advancing Yokida for extra crit rate, which we lose with a 2H on the front bar without two daggers. For extra content, instead of the Black Rose Prison daggers, you could still use Kilt. Where is it? Here. For the extra 10% crit damage and crit rate. On the dummy not needed, I have all the support sets. I am already over the crit damage cap. I think 2% over. Simply also because of the passive hemorrhage, this one, which gives us extra 10% crit damage. So killed would be just nonsense on the dummy. So it's up to you. If you're not an optimized group, go with killed, then pin our uh, back bar, then I can front bar, killed on the legs, and then still Zahn. Some changes on the skills, like I said, Calf on the front bar, really powerful dot. Then Killer Spade still, is Execute. Probably one of these rungs with Impale together and Rated Oppression. Then Vacuum Bomber Spammable. Mercer's Resolve, of course, the Magicka Morph deals slightly more damage in the stamina run. Conceived Weapon slotted for the 10% extra flat damage. And Incap as Ultimate. I use Conceal Weapons sometimes as semi spammable. Let's say you need to go to your back bar and Calf is already up and Mercer's Resolve doesn't have even close to 5 stacks. Then it's way more better to bar so with Conceal Weapon after Wrecking Blow instead of doing the Wrecking Blow cast into Light Attack and then bar swap. You would just lose one global cooldown. Back bar Debilitate, powerful single tile dot. Daily Cloak to proc the BAP daggers and also deals good amount of AOE damage and gives even major evasion, 20% damage reduction against AOEs. Barb Trap on the back bar now for mana force. Twisting Path, 
really important that you stay in the path, otherwise you will not get the 10% extra flare damage from Conceit Weapon. You need to stand in the path, then Dark Shade, and in cap just slotted for extra crit rate. For extra content, I would recommend to go with Shooting Star. Ray Stammer, still best in Snot. Followed by probably Org and then Khajiit. Even if Khajiit is kinda nonsense, we already have a ton of crit damage. Maybe only if you don't have 3D support sets. Then Khajiit would be probably even better than Dunmo. Mundus Thief for extra crit rate. Buff food, the green max stamina food. No sustain issues with this build. In actual content, if you need more max HP, go with the blue max stamina and HP food. Attribute points, everything in stamina, and potions, the normal weapon power potions. CPs, blue ones, steady aim, mastered arms, morpho strikes, and exploiter. If you really have issues to reach the 125% crit damage cap, put out probably morpho strikes or exploiter for something like fighting finesse or backstabber. Red CPs, rejuvenation, fortified, bounce vitality, and celebrity. Rotation. Pre buff yourself first with the Mercer's Resolve stacks for extra weapon damage. So activate Mercer's Resolve with 5 light attacks and then keep those stacks. Like this, you already start with the maximum weapon damage bonus. Then swap to Shooting Star on the back bar with an add on like Dressing Room. For console players, just skip the Shooting Star part and keep in cap on your back bar. Then start your rotation with Dark Shade into Barb Trap, followed by Shooting Star. Swap back to Incap immediately after your ultimate and use your potion for the extra 20 ulti points through the Nightmare passive. Twisting path, bar swap to front bar, bow proc, bar swap back bar, daddy cloak with debilitate, bar swap front bar into calf with wrecking bow spams. Use Mercer's resolve with 5 stacks and keep up calf, do not let it expire. Try to use Incap more or less on cooldown without using too many dots in this empowered phase. Try not to bar swap with Wrecking Ball, way too clunky, you would just lose time. Bar swap with Calf, Mercer's Resolve, or the Bow Proc, and rarely I even used Conceit Weapon. At around 33%-ish, start to use your Execute, Killer Spade, but do not completely drop Wrecking Ball. Use it still every 5-6 to six seconds for the Major Berserk buff, but drop it at around 20%-ish, then it's not worth to use it anymore. Drop Mercer's Resolve as soon as you start with Killer's Blade, but do still keep up 5 stacks. Keep in mind, you don't need to recast Mercer's Resolve. Just hold those 5 stacks, the buff remains. Reapply every dot at around 25%-ish, but do not recast Dark Shade, Debilitate and Carve anymore, below around 25%. Keep up still Path, Trap and Daddy Cloak with Incap as Ultimate and Killer's Blade Spams. If you have questions about it, type them down below. I will link you the entire written notation and the guide down below should be easy to follow. Now enjoy the pass, thanks for watching, don't forget to sub my channel if you like and a comment below. Next PvE builds will be up soon. I wish you a fantastic day and I'll see you in the next one. Peace. from a new world I never know Something about it felt like I've been waiting my whole life Is this home? I can hear each sound Calling my 
can hear